What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and you guys have been blowing up my inbox. How do I mine Zap? So, Papa Rabbit is here, and I'm going to show you how to get it done, and I'm going to show you how to get it done like a boss. Well, not really, but I'm at least going to show you how to get it done, and I'm going to go through some of the basics on picking out a CPU if you are looking for a CPU to mine with. I will have various links down in the description on write-ups I did to the past on my website, for 3900X builds, you know, the CPU mining profit calculator and other things will be down there. So check them all out. So a quick rundown on the RandomX algorithm, which is what Zephyr uses as well as Monero and various other coins, is it is L3 catch dependent. So when looking for a CPU, you are gonna wanna find something that has at least two megabytes of L3 cache per thread. So that means example, all these Ryzen CPUs, you know, you got the 3900X, it is 12 core, 24 thread. So to utilize all 24 threads, you need at least 48 megabytes of L3 cache. Now the easiest way to sum this whole thing up is don't buy Intel. Intel is garbage. You got to go with Ryzen if you really want a CPU mine. The other thing about RandomX is it loves its low latency memory. So you're going to want to get some CL14 RAM. Now it's not a massive difference between CL14 and 16. You can find some CL16 RAM that outperforms CL13. It's more about the latency in the RAM than it is about the CL numbers. And you can do some overclocking, underclocking with the RAM as well. Now Monero, Zeph, you know, the RandomX algorithm, it is the main algorithm that I use and the good one that you guys are figuring out how to mine here to actually do your CPU tweaking. So, you know, there's other coins out there. You got Ghost Rider for Raptorium and various other coins. You got Virus Coin, but they don't use as much power and they're not quite as CPU core heavy as, you know, Monero and RandomX is. So example, what I mean here is if you went and just mined Virus Coin for an example, tweaked for it, got the lowest voltages, nice and efficient, and then moved over to Monero or Zephyr, which is what we're gonna mine here, RandomX algorithm, your rigs could possibly go down because they're not tweaked for it. So I like the tweak for RandomX, that way I can move my entire farm, all of this stuff, at the couple clicks here using HiveOS and not have to worry about any rigs going down. So it is my main algorithm that I actually use for tweaking my rigs in the first place. So I have been CPU mining for quite some time, you know, about four years or so. And my total farm now consists of about 23 3900X CPUs. I do have two 3950Xs, three 5950Xs, one 7950X. We got the single Epic 7742, as well as the dual Epic 7742. And then I got a single little 3700X. Regardless, they are all Ryzen CPUs. They all have enough L3 cache and those are the basics you want to utilize. Now coming in, looking at your base clocks on your CPUs as well, that'll determine a possible hash rate that your rigs will do. Example, the Epics have a lot of cores, but they perform the least amount per thread, but they're loaded up with cores and threads because their base clock speed is only 2.23 gigahertz, where say a 3900X is coming in at 3.6. Now you can boost these up upwards to 4.5 4.6 you know the 7950x's you can boost that to like 5.5 almost 6 gigahertz if you have the cooling but they're gonna use a lot of power so what i mean by when you look at the base clock of a cpu or ordering that you can run your base clock at one volt or less depending on that silicon lottery so anything you go above that we'll take the 3900x for another example because it's a very popular cpu for mining and you can find them usually pretty cheap on the used marketplace and stuff but again you know i got a lot of amazon links and stuff down in the description as well if you want to check some of those out if there's any deals black friday is coming up so when we saw the release of the 3000 and 5000 series i know a lot of gamers even some miners like oh 5000 series awesome jump on it new cpu but for mining they're pretty much the same because they got pretty close to the same base clock speed where the 7000 series which recently released, it's the latest model, saw a big increase. So the recent 7000 series, like the 7950X, it's upwards of about 4.5 gigahash per, or gigahertz, I'm always saying gigahash now, gigahertz on that CPU. So you can run that at one volt or less, where a 3900X, you can only run at 3.6, which means you're getting a lot faster clock speeds at less voltages, on those 7000 series, but it's coming in with all brand new hardware, DDR5, AM5 motherboards. It's a lot more expensive to build a rig. 
But coming into the 3900X for an example on what that actually means for efficiencies and power consumptions, you know, we can get about, you know, 12,000, you know, 12.2, 12,200, 12.2, you know, if you want to do it in hashes or kill a hash at about 109 watts the entire system. Now I can push that up an extra 3,000 hashes or three kilohash to about 15.2 or so, but I'm using about 240 watts. So you can see that we are actually using like an extra 120 watts just to get three kilohash, which is more than the entire system itself already pulling in 12 kilohash. So you can see where the efficiency comes in. Once you start going over that base clock, you start losing a lot of efficiency. Now, if you have cheap power, you don't care about power, you know, it's non-factor for you guys, but you're also going to have to deal with more expensive coolers and stuff to cool all that. So I know you guys are probably getting annoyed. You came here to check out a little video on how to mine Zeph, and I'm rambling on about all this, but I feel there's a lot of information here. Some of you guys don't know. You know, I'll do a dedicated video on a build, what to look for and stuff later on. But let's show you guys actually how to mine some Zeph. All right, so before you mine anything, you're going to need a wallet to receive your reward. So if you head on over to Zeph's website here, simply on home, scroll down, and you can see options for a wallet. So they have a new GUI wallet, which is really easy to use. You can just simply click on this, and it'll have the download here. But if you're used to the Monero wallet, the Monero GUI and everything, and you want to run your own node, you're going to have to download the GUI. But that'll only work off a remote node. You're also going to have to go to the GitHub here. These first two ones, the latest ones, are only pool fixes. So I, you probably can use those, but I haven't. I have scrolled down, and here you can see Zephyr CLI wallet for Windows right here, 1.0.2. Download that, extract it, and you'll see a file called Zephyr. D Zephyr D uh, just like the Moneroid kind of thing with the D on the end you just double click that that'll sync up the blockchain and that'll be your own node running that way you can add more decentralization and you'll pretty much be using your own node to receive and see all your transactions it's more of a private secure way to do everything so once you do all that either way you want to get just a GUI or download both with the CLI depending on which way you want to connect you come into your remote node here and just pick remote or maybe you have to disconnect and then choose local node so this will actually then connect to your local node if it's running on the same computer now if it's not you set up a custom node and just use the IP4 address and everything of a little node box or something you got on your home network set that up this way and then you can connect your wallet to your own node at home and then run everything that way so for most people though right now you know you're going to download this and simply go into remote node here and then hit connect it's going to connect to everything and be good so refresh block height if you're seeing you're not seeing your transactions or you're updating from an older version you're really late and behind on that you're going to also want to restore this from block height zero what that means is it's going to restore and kind of download every transaction that happened from the very first block on the Zeph network so it knows every transaction that went place. Now, obviously, if you started mining at, let's say, block 100,000, you'd only really have to start syncing this from 100,000, but it is best to do it from number zero just so you get all the information in there. So that's kind of a fast rundown of this wallet. Now, to get your receiving address, simply click on receive here, and this is your primary account address. So this is where I am going to receive all my rewards too. So I'm just gonna click this, right click, copy, or I guess you can just click the copy here. This is copying your address, and this is the address you're gonna use to send everything to your miner rewards using your miner and so on. So let's move on and see what miner should we use to mine Zeph. Okay, so to start this off in Windows, you're gonna need a miner, and whenever it comes to anything CPU mining, if XM Rig supports it, that's usually the best miner to use. So in this, we're gonna be utilizing XM Rig. Now, SRB miner does support some dual mining options and stuff as well, which we're not gonna be doing today, but we are gonna be mining straight Zeph. So again, XM Rig is the choice that you wanna pick here. As for the mining pool, we're going to be utilizing Hero Miners, which is currently looking like the second place pool at 23.2% of the hash. And they're also the sponsor of today's video. So once you download your miner and extract it, you're going to come to something like this. Now, I got a bunch of different bat files in mine already that I made, but there is an example, which you can see here, pool mine example. I'm just going to right click on this and show it to you. And here, all you got to do for your own is just this part here. So you can make a new bat file or whatever. 
whatever, copy all this in, and then just fill in the parameters for the coin you needed. The other way you can set this up is through the config JSON file. So I'm going to run through both of these, starting with the bat file. Personally, I like the bat file because then I can swap coins really fast instead of editing this JSON every single time. Example here, you can see I can just go to my solo node for a coin, uh, whatever I have that set up for, you know, Raptorium Ocean, you know, my own pool here for whatever coins. You know, we can start Zeph on Viper's Test Pool, you know, just start Zeph in general. We got Hero Miner set up, you know, so I can go to various different pools simply by double clicking on. So I do prefer this way and then you can also really easily set your threads if you want this is my workstation on a 32 thread cpu the 7950x so i do like to run it at 30 that way i got a couple threads free for me like recording videos and stuff because i am mining right now as i record this so here we can kind of see the setup so xmrig.exe and then you can see this dash a here is our algorithm that is rx dash zero that is what the parameters for random x stands for dash o this is your stratum plus tcp so this is where we got to get our pool information if we simply come into hero miners we can see north america west usa pick the stratum with the lowest ping for you you can try them all if you want to use the stratum ping from two miners to test all these different stratums out for yourself but i do find this is my lowest latency even though i am in canada but this is eastern canada and i'm in western canada so i'm going with west usa so i'm simply going to right click we're going to copy this bring up our config here and then we're just going to paste it in right here so this is your pool address so next you're going to have to set up your wallet now if you don't have a wallet yet simply check out the wallet part of this video and that'll get you up and running so here you paste in your wallet put in a period and then your worker name and then if you do want to set your threads just put a simple dash dash threads equals however many threads you want to utilize for mining then simply save that make sure it does save as a bat file if it doesn't just go to save as here make sure you do put all files and then at the back here just put dot bat so that'll make sure it does save as that bat file i obviously have mine ready to go so i don't have to worry about it so we're going to bring this back up now and we're going to kind of go through the config file for the json all right so opening up the json file here we're going to scroll down scroll 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 until we get to all the parameters part so here we can see pools and everything so we got to set our algo as we saw in the other one it is rx0 so we're going to come in and go rx-0 now you're not done because if you do this your miner is not going to start or it's going to flash and do all sorts of wonky things that's the thing with the json if anything is off or missing a combo or parentheses or anything it won't run so just because you put your algo in you still have to add quotations right there and right there a lot of people have issues with that that's a very common thing is make sure those quotations are on each side of the algorithm next we're going to move on we can skip the coin part that can stay null we're going to move on to the url so you don't need your stratum part for this but we are going to need that url again so we're just going to paste that in that we copied earlier there's our us zephyr hero miner so now we're going to add our wallet address so i'm going to go back into that other one actually and i'm going to copy it over because this is where it is obviously you'd put it from your wallet or whatever you got it i got a bunch saved on a notepad so i'm going to copy my wallet over come back into my json config which is this one and i'm just going to put my wallet address into here and then put that and i'm going to go period and then rabid workstation i'm putting my password i don't know how to spell so rabid workstation right there password you can skip that is it that's all we have to do from this point on i'm going to save this it is all set with the parameters and now we got to run our miner so this is running xm rig directly now if this is the first time you installed xm rig you're going to want to right click this or go down the properties actually compatibility and make sure you check on run this as administrator you do want to make sure your pc runs xm rig as administrator so that it does load huge pages and everything else that does add a hash rate boost for your processor so next if you already have that in, you can double click it or right click run Whoa. as admin as we're about to see here and we can see it's loading up everything huge pages scratch pads all that stuff now if you're seeing fail to add msr mod or something very first time you're running this you may have to shut it off reboot your pc and then load it up again run as administrator and it should fix that and you'll now get the extra boost and hash rate from xm rig 
for utilizing all these other parameters. So we're just going to shut that off right there. So that is how you run this both ways. Now you can see I can just simply click this way. It'll run off your JSON or you can run off your bat file. So we're just going to show you the confirmation here. Open. Yes. And you can see we're going to hero miners off the bat file. 30 threads is being utilized. I can close that. Say I want to quickly jump into like Raptor hash or something to mine GR coins. We can load it up. Here I am straight in Raptor hash. So it's really easy to move coins around if you use the bat file. But then again, you can also use that JSON config file. So that's pretty much it for Windows. All right, guys. So here we are in Hive OS. And if you have multiple farms, make sure you are in the proper farm that you want to create your flight sheet for the proper rig. So here you can see here's all my CPU rigs and stuff. So we're going to go into wallets here. Let it load up. Go to add wallet. Simply type in Zeph and then pick Zeph. And then copy and paste your wallet in there. Name it whatever you want as long as you remember the name. You know, I got this set up so I don't have to do that part. It's already there. But that's how you would set up your wallet. So next we're going to go to flight sheets. We're going to do this from scratch here. So I'm going to go type my coin in the ticker. We're just going to go Zeph here. It'll pop up. Pick your wallet. Node easy. That's my node GUI type of wallet. It's all running on the same seed phrase there. Pick your pool. We got to configure this in the miner because there's nothing defaulted in Hive OS. And then we're going to hit XM and pick XM rig new. And then name this whatever you want. So I'm going to go Zeph Hero Miners. And now we're going to set up the miner config by simply clicking on it. So it's a pretty simple process here. We're just going to go to RX random where you at random xmr so that's what we're going to pick xmr it's the exact same algorithm click on wallet plus worker template make sure you go to huge pages click that in cpu configuration bam the biggest issue everybody has is this guy right here so when you start this your cpu is off so if you're having issues you don't know why it's mining probably because you didn't turn your cpu on and this is the biggest question i get all the time everything looks right why isn't it working rabbit and this is it right here click this Bam, CPU is now on. So a lot of people, it kind of tricks you thinking that you're actually going to turn it off when you click that, but clicking that actually turns it on and it is off by default. So we still have to add our pool here. So we're going to go back to Hero Miners and we're just going to load up this USA West Stratum. Right click, copy, bring it in and simply paste that in like so. Scroll down, you know, you don't need anything else. You can set your threads and stuff here if you would like. As for your minor fork, you just need XM rig. You don't have to play with anything else. Just these main commands up here is all you got to do and make sure you turn that CPU on. Once you're done at that point, hit apply changes and create that flight sheet. So then I'm going to pick a worker here and then I'm going to go up to my flight sheet, scroll down. Now, if you have a bunch of favorite flight sheets and stuff set up, it will be your fresh first flight sheet that you just did after your last star so here we can see zeph hero miners all we gotta do is simply hit that rocket ship and we're off to the moon so it is that easy to get up and running we're going to close all this out go to overview so if you want to move all your rigs actually at once hive west makes this extremely easy look at this we can just click this box here get rid of the rigs i don't want those are gpu rigs that are offline this is the fpga that's running in the back end and then simply go up to this little rocket ship now you can just pick 60 more coins or so find zeph Scroll down to Hero Miners right here, hit apply, and it'll actually apply that flight sheet we just made to every single rig. So now we're going to see, we're just going to let this play out. I'll do a quick refresh here. You'll see everything is starting to swap over. You can see right there. Give it another couple seconds. I'll hit another refresh. And bam, you can see everything is going in. Dual Epic didn't switch yet, but it's coming. So now to clear all these notifications, simply hit the checkbox, hit the clear messages, clear confirm, and everything's all nicely tidy and cleaned up. And we moved our entire farm over to Hero Miners in like three clicks. So I love Hive OS and just how fast I can move to various coins if I need to see a pump or something happening. All right, guys. So hopefully that does help you up and getting all set up for mining Zeph on a CPU mining rig. So we went through a little bit on what to look for in a CPU for CPU mining in general. And obviously we got you all up and running with the wallet and then the XM rig, the dev software, as well as the pool setup process and Windows and Hive OS. So thank you for checking this out. Hit that subscribe button, share this video around. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.